¡Dímelo mi gente! ¿Qué lo que es? ¡Your girl Dini! Back with another video! First and foremost, I just want to tell you guys Happy New Year! It is New Year's Eve and in today's video we're going to be you know backtracking and then doing our makeup we are going to be getting ready to go out to dinner um jay and i have some reservations with our friends sam and matt and we are going out to eat that is their new year tradition to go out and eat because it all it is also their anniversary it's gonna be kind of like a vlog style also um because we're going to be backtracking and i'm going to be showing you guys what we ended up doing for the month of december because i know it's been a week or so since i've uploaded so i kind of wanted to update you guys um on everything that we did i was vlogging and recording i just haven't been um editing because a girl let me tell you at times it was very hard my girls was very very sick um and then i ended up getting sick the house ended up getting sick and i'm just like bro si no es una cosa la otra right when it rains it pours that's my phrase that was my phrase the whole december we are going to start off by so even you know it looks like i got my eyebrows done and that's because i did so i ended up uh trying this trick out because last time i did my eyebrows with the eyebrow lady that i started going to she didn't do them right like she just didn't give me a curve it was like a straight line and it just was thin because i always tell her i want thin eyebrows um because i feel like every time i don't say that they just clean them up and leave them as is because I already don't have eyebrows to begin with. But I ended up just drawing them out how I like them. And she just followed the whole frame. And that's why they look like that. So they do still have a little bit of makeup. But I'm just going to go over it um, just with a little bit more makeup. I just wanted to see if... Because I usually don't go with any products on my eyebrows. Just because I want them to be clean. So that they can see what they're doing. But I figured, I'm like, let me just try and do my eyebrows and see if they kind of follow that that wave. And she did. So, mission accomplished. I've been with her before. Last time it was just not a good time. But the other times that I've gone to her, she's been pretty good. That's why I kept going to her. Um, I don't know what happened last time. Because she was, she was wild. She wild out. Okay. Anyways. um, But I have... A pretty much bare face um, I'm going to just apply some La Roche moisturizer to my skin but like I said I don't have anything else on my face and as I said we are going to a dinner for New Year's Eve um, with our friends and we're just going to have a time it's been a while since well, it hasn't been a while. It's been, what, six months since we came back from Mexico? Um, but it's been a while since we celebrated New Year's, um, like, outside or anything. Just because of the girls. We're, we don't really be trying to do too much at night with the girls. Because, you know, we like them um, to just be on a time schedule and in bed. And, you know, so we can have our mommy and daddy time. So it's been a while since we went out. But... I'm very grateful so i'm happy i hope tonight goes well i can't wait to show you guys my dress i ended up finding it yesterday because i am a procrastinator <laughs> but macy's never fails okay anytime you need a gown go to macy's baby pero go to macy's anyways before i start getting this makeup done let's go back so I'm going to insert right here. Um, we ended up going to find Santa Claus. So check out how it went for us. Dímelo mi gente. Que lo que? It's your girl Dini. Welcome back to a new vlog. We outside today. It's mad nice outside today. First of all, let's start by saying that. Okay. After what? A whole week of snow. It's like 60 degrees today. But whatever. Um, we're gonna enjoy it while we can. We are on our way to the mall right now. We literally just got here. It's crazy packed today. So we're gonna try to get in and out. 
all right? We are on a mission to find Santa and take a picture with him. So that's what we're doing today. Um, and I'm bringing you guys along with us. We got the whole gang in here. You got it? We got the whole gang in here and we's about to do this. Dímelo, mi gente, ella te pelo mío. Háblenme claro. Vamos a hablar claro. Ok. We found Santa. <laughs> the girls are here. We have them dressed up. We utilizing these outfits, baby. Ok. We utilizing them. But, um, it's no line. Look at me. No line. I mean, there's a little line, but it's nothing too crazy. Like, people would be down the block or wrapped around the corner, like, waiting for Santa Claus. Nobody. If that would have been the case today, I would have been like, you sure, babe? We're going to have to tag team this. But it's not like that. So it seems very calm. We'll see what it's given. Um, but nothing exciting is happening right now. So I'm going to highlight to you guys until yeah. something exciting starts happening. Okay? Thanks. Alrighty, so Santa picture was a success. We got candy cane. We just waiting on the pictures to be printed, so we are just gonna walk. It's the hair for me, y'all. Come on. Why can't my hair ever let me leave? What you said, babe? It wasn't a success, though. No, it was a, a it was a success. I love the pictures. I love how MJ. <laughs> is showcasing her personality like she does not like new people including santa claus okay and that's showcased in the pictures and i think that's so cute because that's like real genuine kid stuff um and aj was a diva of course she smiled the whole time all pictures she came out great in every single picture it was hard to pick a picture based on her so we picked it out based on mj because mj was the one with the face but while we wait around for these pictures to be printed, uh, we came in to five and below. Vamos a ver lo que se chapea. Okay, so as you guys saw, you know, we couldn't really um, record too much of Santa Claus because they were really on it this year, like trying to see who's recording and stuff. And I know that last year they didn't allow cameras, but we were able to get better footages because they didn't have as much staff on board. But this year, they was booked up, okay? It was no recording. So, I we couldn't really get much footage of, you know, like, Santa Claus and the girls. But let me tell you, MJ made the picture a classic. So, I am using my regular degula. Don't make fun of it because it's broken. Um, My NYX brow pencil, micro brow pencil. It is the dupe for the MAC one. Um, and I use the color, what's this color? Chocolate. Chocolate. We're using chocolate on the eyebrows by NYX. Um, but yeah, MJ was just not with it. Like, she looked at me after I handed her off to Santa and was like, sis, you're bugging and started wilding out. Uh, but I loved how the pictures came out because it's just like a classic christmas picture like we are forever going to hold that um and show her that when when she gets older like sis look at how you was walling out one year old walling out after santa claus aj did really good though she was um anticipating to see she was very very excited to see santa claus and she just wanted to sit there and have a whole conversation with the guy with the guy and the guy's just looking at me like, get your kid out of here. <laughs> now, that's not how he was. But, like, it was just like, all right, babe, this is not the time or the place to talk to Santa Claus. You know, I know you got things to tell him and things you want. But let's just go home and write a letter to him um, and tell him everything you wanted to tell him today. She was kind of upset because she really just wanted to talk 
to Santa and then she was holding it up against me like for days after that. She's like, you didn't let me talk to Santa, mom. Like, I'm mad at you. You didn't let me talk to Santa. And every time she will be get cranky, like out the blue, I'll be like, what's wrong? She's like, well, you didn't let me talk to Santa Claus. And I'm just like, sis, I told you we gonna write the letter. Okay, we're writing him a letter, baby. It's okay. <laughs> but other than that it was super super nice it was very convenient with as you guys saw nobody really there um when we got there so you know it was a win-win and i was kind of nervous about that because we actually got to the mall pretty late um like we wanted to be there a little earlier than what we actually got there for so it was like damn we are about to be stuck in this line waiting for santa to be available for us so but luckily for us it wasn't like that so all right um and now i don't know if i want to you do like a full foundation i think i might skip out on the foundation and just apply concealer and stuff i just don't want to do too much i feel like i don't need to do too much I'm going to do my lashes, of course, so I gotta look at my lashes. I'm not going to do anything on my eyes. So I'm about to apply these Kiss lashes. They're just some wispy lashes. Their name is Shy, but I don't know. They're by the brand Kiss. So I'm just going to use those. I gotta get my scissors um, and cut these up. But before I do that, um, the next event we had in December was AJ's holiday concert. I was so, so, so excited uh, for her holiday concert. It was her first holiday concert. Um, she got to sing and dance um, with her class. And I'm going to bring you guys along and show you guys from the outfit to the concert. So check this out. So, why am I at the mall and, and looking for the Disney store, going my heart looking for the Disney store, come to find out the Disney store closed. Like, it's not even there. It's just some random toy store. Excuse me. Where was my email saying that their store was shutting down? Sheesh. Sounds is hard, but it's damn. also have this sweater i love this sweater not the pants i wouldn't do necessarily the pants but this sweater with like a skirt i really wanted to do a colorful christmas sweater but being that the disney store is closed and they don't really have like very colorful disney sweaters here in zara i was like you know what so this is like christmas cozy vibes but neutral colors they also got these right here. Um, and these skirts. Alrighty, so we're still browsing around. I got a few things. I got a few things. I'm just gonna see if I can cover Jason, find something for him, and we'll be good to go. You see that scratch? I don't know how. I just, I don't know what happened. It'd be like that. It's so shaggy. All right, so we secured our outfits for tomorrow. I'll show you guys once we get home. Try them on. Hopefully they fit. But my kid is trying to get out the stroller. So I'm going to holler at you guys. It's about that time to go pick up AJ too. So y'all do the stop. I'm going to see if I could get a coffee just to have some extra energy. And I'll see you guys later. Dímelo mi gente. Alrighty, it's the next morning. It's the day of the concert. I'm just hopping on here real quick um, because I didn't get a chance to yesterday show you guys what I ended up getting for the girls and the concert for today. So I ended up finding this dress, this like knitted dress with these two little pocket detailing in the front and it's kind of like a crew neck crew neck situation going on here <clears throat> so I got this one in AJ and MJ sizes 
so uh, they're both gonna be wearing the same thing and I also got myself something so I also got myself a little jumpsuit so these are the pants to the jumpsuit oh my god my background sucks these are the pants to the jumpsuit that i ended up finding and then here is the other dress for the baby let me put it right there oh and then this is the top to my outfit Boom. that's what I'm wearing today um, and these are the girl outfits I'm gonna tune in once we are you know a little bit more calm and situated cuz I uh, I have the girls in the bath giving them a little rinse down to get them ready I'm getting MJ ready after we drop AJ off just because I feel like I don't want her to be dressed too early um, Hello, my mirror needs a little dusting. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> but yeah, so I'm trying to get everything situated. And on top of that, yo tengo un problema, mi gente. Um, I don't know where I put my phone. And I have not seen my phone since last night because that's how they connect que yo estoy. Um, I don't really be like on my phone like that. Like I literally just edit my videos, post them. That's why I'm on my phone when I post. Um, and then that's it. Some of this aparece. Like I really don't be on my phone like that. And I'm just like, I don't know where I put my phone last night and I can't find it. So now just every time I have to keep checking the time I'm like you have to keep running downstairs because I realize I don't have any clocks up here and that's a no no we are about to get some clocks for the upstairs baby because I need to know what time it is anyways let me get to it I'm gonna holla at you guys once I get everything a little bit more situated and yeah As you guys saw, I ended up finding some real cute outfits. Zara is where it's at for baby girl clothes, okay? Like, yo me estaba ahí poniendo loca. I was like, yo, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. So, um, they had a so, they had so many cute clothes and so many cute little options, um, to wear. So, yeah, that was AJ's concert. She wasn't really, you know, trying to um, sing too much, but it's all right. I think my girl just got shy, but she was just like, mm -mm, not with it, okay? You guys are good. All right, so I'm just cutting up these lashes. I think I am just going to do my face because I just, I just feel like I'm going to be too exposed. And I just don't want to have like different colors, you know, because this foundation, the color it is, it's a little too dark for me because it's like my summer color. And, you know, your girl doesn't really wear foundation like that. So I just never went around to like getting just a, a lighter color because, again, I don't wear foundation like that. I'll, I'll be good with concealer and some bronzer and some. Come on, girl, you messing me up. She don't want to come out. Um, so yeah, I'll be good with some concealer and some bronzer, baby. So I think that's just what I'm going to do. Just because I just don't... I feel like I'm going to have to blend all of all of this. And nobody got, nobody got time for that. Alright, and the last event. I'm just going to talk to you guys while I try and do this. 
The last event that we did for December was, of course, Christmas, all right? So this year, as I told you guys, um, this year was very, was pretty special to us, um, just for personal reasons. And I just, you know, I told Jay, like, let's make this a very special um, Christmas. We ended up having a great time. The kids loved it. Like just just to see the smiles on their face um, was exactly like what I wanted. That that was the goal, and I feel like I achieved that goal pretty well. Um, so we had just a, a a great time. We had a blast. Like we had the kids here. We were like just hosting and just being in the present moment. Um, I recorded bits and clips of it as you guys saw but not like a full throttle vlog about it um, just because we were very present in the moment and it just turned out great um, so yeah so that was Christmas guys and then it brings us up to here like I said the girls were super 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 sick um, and you know if you guys are old or some of my old subscribers um, or if you've been checking out my other videos, maybe you would know that my birthday passed, maybe not. But my birthday did end up passing. Um, it was December 23rd. I am now 23 years old. <laughs> nah, um, I am now 23 years old. But my birthday did pass and I did have plans. We did have reservations to go out to dinner and stuff, but because the girls got sick, um jay was like you know what just take our reservations and invite some of your friends um to go out to dinner with you and the cost will be covered but then the day of my birthday i ended up getting sick so plans changed yet again so i ended up just staying home watching movies cuddled up with the girls um and of course jay was home my birthday fell on a saturday so we were just all being couch potatoes just chilling and i couldn't ask for a better birthday honestly like just being at home with my kids and my man like um besides i it did help because um i got to like kind of relax like jay gave me just you know some downtime he took care of the girls for me like i didn't really have to do much like obviously i was attentive to them but um, he was just more hands-on so that I didn't really have to do too much. So I got some real good rest in and enough to um, have some strength to help him clean the house the next day. Just because we were having family come over for Christmas and Christmas Eve. Um, so I was able to help him out. That's pretty much what we did. It was just like family vibes. Just family and present vibes. Um, and honestly, I don't have no complaints. That pretty much sums up December for me. And I have yet to touch my face. I don't know why I'm like that. Like, I cannot talk and do my makeup. My holy grail for the year. Um, my e.l.f. concealer, my hydration concealer. I don't know what color this is in. This is the satin finish, and this is in the light sand. I've had this forever now. You know, my makeup style has changed throughout the years. I, I use less makeup um, and I kind of switched it up a little bit. I think I told you guys that already. You guys are going to be super proud of me, by the way, because I ended up getting a tripod for my car. And I'm very proud. I am very proud that I finally gifted myself a tripod because we all know that I was struggling and baby girl with this new lens ain't no way my camera gonna be slipping and sliding on that dashboard all right I might have to cut that a little bit more but yeah that's pretty much the month of December wrapped up for you guys i'm going to just touch up some concealer i do have i told you guys in many of my vlogs that i have like this eyelid eczema i don't know like what to do with it i think i'm just gonna like just schedule an appointment to go to the dermatologist just to see what's going on because it doesn't seem normal to me 
but I'm just covering it with a little bit of concealer not too much just because I don't want to irritate or cause any like flakes to flare up or anything like that but just a little bit towards the end to make the eye look more polished and that's pretty much it my eyebrows are so red still I'm so sensitive to wax but I am not going to give up wax for anything because I cannot handle eyebrow threading guys I just can't like it was this one time I went to get my eyebrows started and I told the girl like the eye the next eyebrow sis you are about to you know wax that because I cannot handle this pain sis I cannot so she did it but then she ended up telling me that they don't like to wax so I'm like, well, then you lost a customer, baby girl, because I cannot handle the wax. And why would, I mean, I cannot handle the threading. And then I've had, I, like, every time I get my eyebrows threaded, I just have bad experiences. Like, they do too much, and then half of my eyebrows is just gone. Like, half of my eyebrows gone. I don't got time for that. <laughs> I definitely don't got time for that. And the people who be up close and personal will be noticing like, hey, half of your eyebrows be gone. Because I remember one time I went to DR, my shit was gone. They said, bye, sis. See you when you get back. <laughs> for real, for real. But I'm using the Duo Glue. Um, What is this? This is the green one, the one that's like in the green with the green lettering. It's just the 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 white one. I used to like using the black one just because I used to do like black eyeliner, so I didn't mind. But with the black one, if you do it like on a bare eye with no eye eyeliner, um, and if you didn't, if you messed up and you don't do it properly, like the black is gonna show on your eyes and it's not gonna look good. It's gonna look like you messed up on your eyeliner. So that's why I went back to using the clear. So let's give a huge shout out to my girl, to my SD, to the best SD in town. Um, she ended up gifting me this uh, Charlotte Tilbury. So it's just a liquid highlighter. Um, and let me see, does it have like a color? Oh, so it's the color 3 Fair. And guys, I love this. I am a highlighter girl, okay? Every time I go out with my friends and somebody snaps a picture of me, the first thing that pops out is this highlighter glow, okay? So I literally just put it everywhere I would normally put my um, regular highlight. I'm just gonna add maybe just a dab underneath the brow because i do like to highlight my brows and that's pretty much it you can use this underneath um your foundation you can use it as is you can put it on top of your foundation or on top of your concealer as i am doing a little bit goes a long way but this is stunning like i love this product I don't use it every day just because I'm trying to save it, but this is like, can you guys see that? Let's take a moment of appreciation. And I'm sorry if you guys are listening to some football in the background. It is Sunday and it is Sunday football. Jay is upstairs watching football. Um, so you guys might be hearing the TV in the background. So I do apologize. For that, but let's take a moment. Let's take a moment. Okay. Let's do it. Let's take this moment. Wow. Are you even are you even zooming? Wow. Nah. Nah. It's liquid highlighter is literally a, a game changer, guys. For real, for real. Can you just Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, baby. I did my hair this morning, um, but I am gonna touch it up, so don't worry, okay? Because you guys are probably like, don't know the Yes, baby, my hair is already done. I just have to retouch it, okay? Because you know I've been helping Jay cleaning up all around the house, sure it up, but I wanted to get it out the way just because I knew I wanted to record. 
and um i knew if i waited too long i wasn't gonna have time and therefore it wasn't gonna get done so i needed a video for you guys just just to like close out the year although you're gonna see it in the new year but just to close out the year i just needed i just needed to be good okay so that's why my hair is done but we'll be touching it up again so i'm gonna wait see la Lashes are ready. They looking ready. I don't know why I'm speaking so much. Maybe I'm nervous. Okay, maybe I'm nervous. I gotta get back to the gym because that's no, that's not cute, baby. That's not cute. <laughs> that is not cute. We will, okay. In 2024, I know, I, and nobody but wants to be that person. But New Year, new me, okay. Nobody wants to be that person. But New Year, new me, okay. Like this video if you agree. <laughs> okay, baby. All right, a lash is done. Now it's time for the other one. Let's see. Some of you guys are probably like, why are you not spending New Year's with your kids? And, um, you know, I did have some mom guilt about it. My mom was just like, listen, I want to have some time with the girls. Like, if you, if you don't mind, like, I miss them. I want to spend time with them um and you know i feel like it it worked good for the both of us like my mom knows that me and jay actually needed the break because you know yes we have friends that, like we have friends around where we live but we don't technically have any family members um and we just don't like to inconvenience people so it's hard to ask for help um we literally wait till the last minute to ask for help and it's just very overwhelming so i initially did not want to leave the girls but i just sat down and told myself like listen you need the break sis and this is to any mom that's out there like if you feel like you need a break take the break if somebody's offering to take your kid and if you feel comfortable enough um to let your kid go to like a family member a very close family member that you trust and stuff and they're just offering the help and just to give you a break, whether it's, you know, for a couple of days or just an hour or so, take it because you need to be, you need to be good in order for your kids to be good. And if you're not good, your household ain't going to be good, you know? Um, so I came to the conclusion, I'm like, you know what, let me just, let me just take the help um i like i said i did have a lot of mom guilt for not spending the new year's with my kids but i know that they're spending it in very very good hands so i just took the opportunity and i know that is a it, it like my mom appreciates that because you know her kids are all grown up you know we don't need her like we used to need her before me and my sister um so i know she appreciates my little ones now because i know it brings her back to like that time when me and my sister were at that age you know so that helps that helps a lot with the mom girl but i'm here to say sis if you need it or if you're a dad and you need to break like you know just a parent general let's not even classify mom or dad um just a parent general parenting is hard bro parenting is hard like it's hard work whether you have one kid or multiple kid like it's a lot of work it's a lot of emotions attached to it it's very emotionally draining because when especially when your kids are sick this is the time of year where like a lot of kids are sick um and i we were like in the hospital um once for my baby girl and just just to see like the everything that's going on in the hospital is, is very humbling um but i definitely was like you know what i'm very grateful i'm very grateful that i get to have you know parents um that are willing to take care of my girls and even friends that are willing to help us out whenever they can like you know when times got really rough for me and jason we we had a few people to really like lean back on um like friendship wise to you know friends to step up and be like yo like we're here you know like so we're very very grateful for that but yeah <clears throat> we bust the drink
we going to drink. We're going to toast tonight. Me and Jason are just going to sit back and just celebrate. And Shout out to my sister. Her birthday was yesterday. My sister is 20 years old. If you guys know me, no. That was the first baby I ever seen grow up. And now I got babies of my own that she is seeing grow up. And it's like, yo, what the fuck is happening? Like, this year was just so emotional. Like, just... December is just such an emotional month. I don't want to get into it, but it is. Um, but yeah, I don't even know how much long I got. But these are the lashes, and the highlight is, again, highlighting. Now, I'm just going to take some lip liner because I look like I don't have a top lip. Let's see. We are just going to line these bad boys up because we are not trying to be outside looking like we don't got no top lip. So this is the NYX. And this is the color natural. So natural. And we are just going to simply touch up this cupid's bow so it could just redefine my upper lip since the highlight is kind of like overpowering it i am about to touch up this hair i don't know what i want to do to this hair but this is literally all i'm doing for my look you guys i just added i just colored in my eyebrows a little bit more added some concealer added some liquid highlight um lined my lips up a little bit more nourish them oh i forgot to do uh, I, I forgot to do browser because i'm just like i'm looking a little too pale baby i'm looking a little too pale and just because i forgot your girl here this is the wet and wild contour palette my sister put me on. They sell this in CVS. I'm pretty sure you guys know you've seen it. CVS, Target, all the drugstores. All the drugstores, giddy. I do like it. I kind of like it better. I like to use this one um, better. Quick fix. Quick fix. My girls be in my makeup without me knowing. But it's okay. We just gonna brush it off, conceal it, don't feel it. <laughs> Comment down below what movie that's from. Not too much, all right? We don't even gotta do too much. Thank goodness I didn't do foundation because if I would've did foundation, I would've been sick because now I gotta do this half of the face over again. We just gonna do everything we did over. That's it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, baby. So we did the concealer, then we did the highlight. Baby. Go, baby. So as I was saying before, I like to use this contour palette um, when I don't have foundation on because it's just a lighter touch. I do have my Marc Jacobs um, bronzer, and that's pretty, like, it's kind of, it's pretty dark. So I like to put that one when i do have my foundation on and it's just like a heavier look a, a more you know more a more intense look um but so far like for daily use i love this one you can build it up also so if i do have like foundation on and i just want to intensify the look um i can definitely build the look up with this but it's very light so this is what I like to put on when I don't have, when I'm trying to do that no makeup makeup look, but still add some depth, depth to my face. All right. We're setting the face with the Morphe setting spray. I love this spray. Ain't nobody gonna talk to me nothing negative about this spray because this is my favorite spray. I love how it sprays. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but. You see how it sprays? It's a mist, okay? The other ones, you gotta be like, chuk -chuk -chuk. nobody got time, okay? I wanna, pss, period, <laughs> okay? Period. 
Okay, I love this spray and it smells amazing, okay? So, uh, it's not sponsored, but if, you know, Morphe, if you want to sponsor me, go ahead, girl. That's pretty much it. I'm about to touch up this hair and I'll be right back. Hey, somebody got a J, I can like this. Ladies, booty bounce, 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 booty bounce, bounce. Bounce, 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 bounce